Welcome to Obermatt Stock Search, our second time of investing in stocks for my retirement savings. I have a financial plan that I put together based on my retirement requirements and on my financial situation. And this plan tells me I should invest 50,000 in stocks in Europe. And that's what these videos are about. We'll invest in 10 increments of about 5,000 francs each to spend those 50,000 francs on European stocks. I start now here with the top 10 list of Obermont, which I have here in front of me. Uh, what I see is the CAC 40 and I see New Zealand as well, uh, because uh, this is actually for Europe. I don't have to think much. You know, we are going to invest in the CAC 40. If I find a stock that I like, I open that up on the Obermont top 10 list from May 29, 2015. What you see here are, again, the top 10 value stocks, followed by the top 10 safety, as well, it was a little bit fast, top 10 growth stocks, followed by the top 10 safety stocks, and finally, the top 10 combined stocks in the CAC 40. Um, this is where I would like to start because um, I like the combined strategy the most. It um, is a focus on value stocks with uh, safety as another additional criteria and a little bit of growth as well. Uh, so companies that have mainly good value but are also quite strong in safety and have some growth are going to show up on the top of that list. What do I see here? Um, I see total uh, oil company, you know, gasoline, uh, I see LVMH that I already like a lot because that's something we need. We need brands, we need clothes, we need uh, things to differentiate ourselves about. I like that a lot. That's something that I think has a long-term value. It's quite inexpensive. It has a good value of 89. Then followed by three banks, which are more difficult to assess, actually. Uh, also, you know, I would probably like to add banks to my portfolio as well, but not now that I've just bought one stock and the second stock I don't think should be a bank. Michelin, that's interesting too. Tires and rubbers, you know, cars, we're probably also gonna, always gonna use cars, even if they're driving themselves and even if they're not driving on gasoline, if they drive on electricity, they will still need tires and probably from Michelin. So that's a, a really good company to invest in. And we have a couple of industrial conglomerates, healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Now, when I look at Michelin, what I you know, see here is a little bit low growth. Uh, they may have gone through difficult times. We can have a look at why this is the case. If I, have to, if I go uh, to the company itself, see what is the problem of growth. Actually, profit has increased dramatically in 2015, not followed by the stock price. Um, revenue has not really increased compared to peers as much. That's why there is a low overall growth ranking. I would probably, you know, feel more comfortable if I see some growth here too. Other than that, we go back uh, to our top 10 list and see what else is uh, on the list. Uh, I think, you know, something that really strikes me as a, an interesting investment for uh, long-term saving accounts is LVMH uh, because it has a good value rating, it's growing and it has a lot of safety attached to it as well. Let's have a look at the details of the company. Oh, I like this a lot, the achievements. Achievements are special characteristics that we identified that are associated with these stocks, like uh, climate protection. It's a climate protection stock. Um, it's a, a stock in the area of sound incentives, you know, the stock market sound incentives, and it's family friendly. So it has signed the Women Empowerment Principles. Um, which you could look at when you click on this button. Let's see how it looks. They've always had very good financial indicators. Um, value metrics are strong in the profit area, very strong, but also in the size area, something we didn't have with the last stock. Uh, Nestle, we didn't have that, but they're also strong there. Everything, you know, pretty much green except for stock returns have been sluggish. Um, have been sluggish, which explains basically why uh, there's such a good value rating. There's not that much that really speaks against buying uh, LVMH. We can have a look at the website as well. 
But I think this is something we know. We know what LVMH H does. Um, this is not something that gives us a, a lot of good no, new information. I probably go a step further. I go to um, uh, Yahoo Finance, where I typically enter the company I'm looking for. This is the one, actually, that we are looking for, Equity Paris. Uh, that seems to be the most sensible uh, co you know, company to look at. Here we have the overview headlines. Chinese, you know, <laughs> tourist luxury spending source. It's very good, you know, they're coming back, you know, spending money. Maybe that's the reason why LVMH has been sluggish recently. Uh, you see Burberry has also been falling in Hong Kong um, in January, actually. So nothing that really speaks against this uh, uh, long-term investment. What I do here is I'm going to uh, copy the... Copy the easy number, and I'm going to my trading account uh, where I first have to log in. Okay, we are now in my e-banking account. Uh, my portfolio, you can see here, you see the stock we bought last time, which is Nestle. And now we want to buy more of more stocks. Uh, from LVMH and for this we have to go to here Börsenhandel, you know buy stocks we have the ISN number for LVMH I'm looking here um, and it cannot be found let's see why this is the case LVMH I search it here sometimes they also have title now I have to see what's the stock um, here we are maybe there was an error with the uh, stock that we found there um, this here is the company you know SC stands for society uh, no actually not for that um, and we need to calculate how many stocks we want. Uh, I want stocks for 5,000 francs. This doesn't work here. So I go to my spreadsheet. I have 165 euro. I divide this by 165 times, you know, about 120, which gives me 25 stocks. That's what we are going to buy, 25 stocks of Nestle. We say best because, you know, we're going to hold this stock for a long time. It's going to cost 4,142 euros. That's good. We say it should be done. It says now that your order has been accepted. And, you know, we go back then at one time to look at um, at our situation, at our portfolio, and at one point it's gonna show up here below Nestle as the next stock. Maybe we can see that in the next session of investing stocks with Olmot. Thank you for watching and good luck with your own investments. Bye bye.